after
Where am I? There I am. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, game you want to capture? You want to? Hmm, maybe? There we go. Aw, oh, yeah. There we go. Hello. Hello. The ad should be ending. Oh my god. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a little... Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't make that noise go. <laughs> it doesn't make it leave. Okay. Hi everyone, how are we doing today? We're in a uh, big boss battle territory. Can I just like, can I just like go over here? Is it quieter over here? Oh no, it's just this, it's just this noise. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, how's everyone doing today? I'm actually just gonna fucking uh, do that because that's that's too much for me brain for me brain. That's too much for me brain. Uh, <laughs> right now. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, Sean, thank you for the hamter. Max, thank you for the first. Hello, Boo. The famous Boo. Hey, Saturn. How's everyone doing today? Thank you for the tea reminder. Oh my god, that's no good. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any tea, uh, hot tea today. I only have iced tea. Um, I could have thrown a dead milkman reference in there, but my brain is fried. Something, something, jumping on the table, shouting anarchy, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, how's everyone doing today? Well, don't let it get warm. Okay, I won't. I won't. I'll take it off of the mug warmer. I don't have a mug warmer. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me today. Uh... <laughs> Out of my goddamn mind. So, okay. So last, I'm really fucking hot too. Hang on, I'm gonna take this study off. So last time we streamed, uh, I got my ass handed to me, just flat out, just beat the living shit out of me. Uh, we almost beat the boss, but I got killed. Uh, well, with the boss having one fucking hit point left that we know of, because uh, I might have just gone back and healed again. I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, that sucked. That sucked really hard. <laughs> so we're going to do it again today. <laughs> something, something, bitch and Camaro. Mm -hmm. Something, something. Ran over my neighbor. You know, big lizard in my backyard. What have you. <laughs> so like, I played Genshin and I got one shot by a capybara that shook its butt at the screen after it killed me and now I have some trauma. How's your day been? Bruh, I play Fortnite. There's nothing quite as humbling as fucking buff Peter Griffin headshotting you and then doing the chicken dance at you. Like, it's rough out here. <laughs> it's hard times. Boo, also, thank you for the five stream streak. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, my friend uh, in uh, high school and, like, a little bit after high school, she had a, she had a bitch in Camaro. I'm not going to lie to you. It was fucking sweet. Um, I don't remember what year it was, but it was like a black and red Camaro and that thing fucking ruled except that you couldn't roll the windows down. That part sucked. Uh, <laughs> she had like invader Zim floor mats, which was the style at the time. Uh, but every time we'd fucking get in her car, I, we'd sink bitch and Camaro. <laughs> Dude, when a Peter Griffin kills me, I alt F4. It's the only sensible thing to do. That's all you could do at that time. <laughs> There's nothing left for you. <laughs> I want to be your friend's friend. <laughs> She's pretty great. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I love her dearly. And she fucking ripped the fucking Camaro thing off of the back of the car after she sold it. <laughs> She's like, no, that part's mine. Fuck y'all. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna see, I wonder if I can backtrack at all. I probably can't, but God, it would be nice to have some items. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. What's this? This is outside? Okay, I think maybe we can backtrack a little bit. Cause I need to get some fucking items. Also, Wacka, are you here? Are you here, baby? <gasps> sweet baby child. Hello, sweet baby child. Give me your fucking shit. Don't hit me. Thank you. <laughs> As she should. Hell yeah. That was her baby. All right, let's see. Can we go? Can we go? No, no, no. No, I, listen, I'll be stone dead in the ground before I recognize Missouri or I talk to a toad. Not happening. Okay, let me get some fucking shit. 
Hello, I'm here for my shit. Oh, hey there. Give me my shit. Thank you. Oh, anyway, I hope y'all are having a good Wednesday. Um, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. I'm so fucking out of it. I spent um, most of the evening putting a chair together, and I don't think I like it, so that sucks. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I think I gotta break it in a little bit. Uh, and I already, like, dragged my chair out to the dumpster, so there's no going back here. I just have to live with this. <laughs> I have to accept what I've done. Okay. Electrifies you to damage direct attackers. Okay. That's cool. This is probably good to have. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here that I really want. What does this do? Scary spirit... I was really hoping for something that did a little bit more damage, but I'll take this. How much space do I have? My morning was rough, but otherwise not too bad. Well, I hope it's, I hope it got better. Anytime you have to put any uh, together any type of furniture is just brutal. I fucking hate putting desk chairs together because it's always like, oh, just, you know, put it on the wheels and then put the back on. And I'm like, fucking how? <laughs> and now it's moving all over the place. What do you mean? <laughs> So I had to take the wheels back off. But I did it because I'm a strong, independent woman. Playing the goaded GameCube game. Haven't been able to catch a stream, but finally. Yeah, hey, Sonny. I I have the new one, uh, but my capture card is not cooperating with my Switch. Uh, so we're not, we're not playing that one. We're playing this one. <laughs> I actually started playing this game in January, and then my computer shit itself. So we're just getting back to it. Makes sense, yeah. My acrostic summarized my feelings about the day. That's very valid. It's very valid. Eat shit and live. <laughs> One of my favorite goddamn sleepaway camp quotes. What the fuck? <laughs> was it Bill? It was it? I don't remember. Okay. Eat shit and live. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Okay, what do I have now? So I have two spaces left. I've got two fire flowers. I think so. Yeah. What a fun chapter. Chapters three through five are incredible. I really enjoyed the last chapter. I didn't think I would because um, there was a lot of backtracking, but I really liked it. Hi, Vampy. I was literally watching your VOD and you were talking about how much you hate that captain guy. I do. <laughs> My model's not synced to my voice. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> There's not much I can do about it. If I don't keep it, like, low, then it just keeps talking forever. And then I seen the live note. Oh, my God. I'm so happy you're here, Vampy. Hello. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um... Did I have anything else that was good for damage? I need something to damage people. Spite pouch? Ooh. Spite pouch could be good. We'll take that. I'm thinking maybe we should get the power punch or dizzy dial. Dizzy dial could be good too. Let's do power punch. Okay, so we've got some items now. I'm good, just sleepy. God, what a mood. What a mood. Okay, I gotta change the permissions for the shout outs, damn it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alex got me last stream. Um, she shouted out me, and I was like, Alex, in my own stream? You can't be shouting me out. Cursed with mod powers? All right. <laughs> like that, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 now. None of this. None of this. Hold on. Get it out of your systems now, because it's going away. Permissions. Moderator. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, children. You don't have to shout me out. I live here. <laughs> Top three fave current wrestlers go. Ooh. 
Okay. 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 Uh, mm. This is hard because, like, a few weeks, like, a few months ago, I would have told you it was Orange Cassidy, but. And before that, it would have been Warhorse, but I hate his new gimmick. I'm so behind on wrestling. Any order? Three wrestlers, the Great Gonzalez, Rock, Hawk. You have to specify. Rock, Hawk, and uh, Prince Mush. What happened with Orange Cat? Nothing really, really happened with him. It's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know. I, I just like kind of lost interest. Cause like, I appreciate the gimmick. Like I appreciate his whole thing. I really do, um, but it's just it's it's just it just keeps happening <laughs> it just keeps happening you know <laughs> it's just the same thing over and over and over again uh but i do love Rhea ripley ripley is uh, pepsi phil of course you love sam uh, oh yeah maki aito is fantastic um but like i love um Rhea ripley i love okada um I think Mackie's gonna be up. Uh, Mackie's gonna be up there too, for sure. I just, God, that's a gimmick that hasn't gotten old at all. <laughs> I think she's so fucking funny. But I love Rhea Ripley um, for very, very technical reasons. I really appreciate Rhea Ripley from like a technical standpoint. I, I, I prefer, I, I, I like the way that she performs the sport. Uh, there's no other reason. There's no other reason. Okada is killing it right now. He's so fucking good and so funny. Seriously. Maki's match against Suzuki was tremendous. Yes, yes, yes. I was literally watching that 90s show and The Miz randomly showed up. Oh, we can't have that. <laughs> we can't be doing that. We can't be doing that at all. I do love Danhausen. I have. I, I just feel like he's not getting any like attention whatsoever. Um, outside of like, I mean, he's still killing it with booking on the indies, but you know, that's about it. I do also love Alley Catch. I love uh, Effie. I love Effie and Alley Catch. I'm not gonna say their name because I can't just say I love that on stream where I am recorded. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, top three right now are probably Okada, uh, Ripley, and uh, Maki. So. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, I've lost my place completely. I was going back in. Now I'm just thinking about wrestling. Solid list. I think it's pretty good. Did you provide a list, Saturn? I'm going, to, I'm going to need your list. Okay. Oh, I hate wrestling? Oh, that's so valid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it, got it. I also hate wrestling. That doesn't mean that you can't have favorites. <laughs> no, 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 they're right. They're right, because if you're a wrestling fan, then you hate wrestling. <laughs> that's how it works. Because I, uh, on... Yeah, exactly. Like, probably like, I don't know, three times a week, Sean can tell you. I'm just going, I fucking hate wrestling. <laughs> Hi, Jedi. Hello. Thank you for the five stream streak. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. We're talking about wrestling. I love Warhorse's old shtick. God, I love Warhorse's old gimmick. But like the nihilism thing wore thin really fucking quickly. He's still a great technical wrestler. Like, I, I think he does a fantastic job, but I, I miss the old gimmick. <laughs> I don't really like the nihilism warhorse thing. It's not really my thing. Um, it just kind of strikes me as like every dude that would corner you at a party in college. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a lot of interest, but I got to meet Booker T with my buddy at a con. Booker T is typically at con, so that makes sense. Uh, Booker T and, and Virgil, RIP. <laughs> So. 
My brother actually tried to join pro wrestling. He went to school for it, but then he realized getting hit by chairs was painful and quit. <laughs> you know, I've heard that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a lot of NWO there. Mm. Uh, yeah, I had uh, older siblings, so I've, I've been hit with a, with a metal chair before. It hurts. <laughs> that shit hurted. <laughs> out of iced tea. I'm gonna have to get more. We're skipping this because we already did this conversation. Just FYI for anyone who wasn't here last stream, I'm not just like blasting through this. I've just, I've already had this conversation because I already got my ass handed to me, so. <laughs> oh my god. I'd rather get hit by a chair than take a single bump on the neck. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I've, I've done that too. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it, but uh, you know, older siblings all into wrestling. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> I take a lot of bumps <laughs> and I don't like to get into it. All right. Poor Liz, I'm okay. I'm totally fine. Uh, totally fine. <laughs> I got to meet um, I got to meet Foley at a con. That was great. That was a wonderful experience. Um, I don't I I haven't really met any other wrestlers, uh, but I got to meet Foley and that was great because Foley is good. Doesn't sound like it. I'm gonna ban that emote. I swear to God, <laughs> I hate that thing. It scares the shit out of me. Foley is great to meet. Very nice guy. He was so nice. He like he talked to us for like. I don't know, like a solid like five minutes. He did not have to do that. He could have just signed and taken a picture and moved on. Met Punk before he was famous, was an asshole then too. Why do you like this guy so much? Punk is such a dick. <laughs> Granted, like I wasn't really in the wrestling scene when he was like super blowing up and doing like his big old fucking sit here and cry speech, but. <laughs> Don't worry, Liz, it scares everyone. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. At least I'm not alone. That's what matters, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 you're gonna fight. I got it. Yeah, I haven't met many wrestlers. I, I'm not really like a big like meets, meeting celebrities person at cons. Like, I have, like, I got, like, I met Foley at a con. Uh, I got to meet Jonah Vesquez at a con, which was really cool. He was very nice. Um, I mean, that's about it. I've met, like, some podcasters, but that's not exciting. Uh, who else have I met? It's so funny because I started watching AEW because of Punk and I was genuinely relieved when he got fired! <laughs> I started watching AEW because of Cassidy. But I'm happy for him that he seems to be doing cool stuff in WWE. Yeah, I mean, whatever works. Like, like I said, he's not my thing. Um, uh, but, you know. <laughs> People like him! <laughs> I do have, like, a really big soft spot for, like, Edge and Christian's roles right now in AEW. I love that so much. <laughs> I love them both so much. And that's uh, partially because of, like, when I grew up watching wrestling. Like, Edge and Christian were everywhere. My sister was obsessed with Edge and Christian. Um, but I just I just love it so much. It's so funny. He's not mine either, yeah. The only thing I know about Punk is that he's from Chicago. Yeah, I know this because my friend from England wanted to make a spoof video about him and asked if there any of their American friends could do a Chicago accent. Oh my god. Not really my, realizing that Chicago has a distinct accent and Punk just talks like a Midwestern white dude. Yeah, he's got like an Iowa accent. <laughs> you don't have a Chicago accent. Um, but I, I love Edge and Christian. I love like... <laughs> This is really bad. Um, just 
I just need y'all to understand that it's funny to me and it's my trauma, so I get to decide if it's funny or not, but all the fucking, like, that dad memes that came out from Christian crack me the fuck up. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and let's do, um, hmm. I just think it's so fucking funny. I want to add more, like, wrestling fucking alerts to my stream. I only have, like, the one, I believe. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. That's pretty good. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get that. It's all fun and games till he DMs you. <laughs> I heard you have a father. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Willow's great too. Willow is really coming into her own. She had a really fun match with Effie at Enjoy Wrestling a while back. God, I love Effie. Okay. I feel like we're just gonna make the same mistakes over and over again right now, and I I'm open to that, you know? It's fine. <laughs> Okay, we've got missed. Reef, last body. <laughs> Beef, last body. We put our faith in blast hard cheese. Um, I don't want to do anything that might miss. I don't know if things will miss in this because of that. I'm gonna have you appeal because we need to get our star power up. Uh, so the only wrestling thing that I have that's pretty soft for an alert I'll turn it up a little bit. The only wrestling related thing I have is uh, Fucking hold on. It's this because the beef thing is not wrestling. That's mystery science theater It's, it's definitely that mm hmm little did you know that the cat from Katamari is actually uh, a wrestler professional wrestler Oh, there it is. I got it. Boom. That's the only wrestling thing I have. Because <laughs> he walks like a doofus. Oops! <laughs> I got distracted. Take the Katamari for good vibes and good luck. Thank you. I would put Rush over Mortis, but I uh, don't even remember the last time he wrestled. Mm -hmm. His little steps are so fucking funny. The funny thing is, is that I did, like, I did nothing. Uh, to the audio for Squidward walking. It just synced up perfectly to the way that he walks because he walks so doofy. I love it. I had a friend who was actually the son of an old pro wrestler. Were you friends with Chavo? <laughs> That's really cool. Can I like get you into frozen mode? Yeah! I was frozen today! Uh, I'm gonna blow him up. No, 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 I'm gonna blow him up. And then act like I don't know nobody. Boop! You're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Why not? Let's see how you like this. But you're frozen! Oh, this is bullshit. His name likes the skin. <laughs> Woo hoo hoo! Ouch. Stop it off. He has such a no talk me I angie energy. Yes, exactly. That's why I love it. Maybe like a power smash. Okay, you. I, oh, I fucked up. One damage. That's okay. That's fine. No, he's out! Son of a bitch. I really want to save that. All right. You need to stop freezing like this. I don't appreciate it. Get out of here. Okay. How about I freeze you again? How about that, bitch? Yeah! How you like me now?
there. I don't appreciate this. I don't get to heal in between rounds. Why does he get to? You know what I mean? I thought I was almost aced for a second there. No, I know. I know. Damn it. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, what can I do differently here? Doesn't really do much. Let's do this. That doesn't do much. Okay, good to know. Uh, let's do a sweet treat. Damn it. That's a little better. Not great. Alright, um, let's do an attack. Damn. Yeah, fuck you. Listen, it's important to consider if you're aced or not. It's a completely valid question when you're exploring your identity. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> I have eat three brownies. Now I feel less bad over being clapped in the face by a twerking capybara. It's just Genshin shit. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I think I'm going to swap the partner out. Let's go to. Let's see what Vivian can do. not blocking it, but he's still getting his, so that's something. Okay, and the bomb still works, so that's good. Hey, fuck you! Yeah, that's right, eat shit. Hi, Spicy! Hello! Welcome on in. Okay, let's see. Hope your Wednesday's going well. That game sounds wild. Genshin is like a fever dream. I never understand what's happening. Attack all foes with flame that set them on fire. Press the buttons in order as they appear on the screen. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Probably. Oh, I nailed it. Nice. Okay. Okay, cool. We've got a burn on him. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do a quake hammer. I gotta do more direct attacks towards him. Um, okay, we're gonna do fire jinx again though, because that worked really well. Damn it. I panic and then I hit the wrong button! It's hard out here, you know? <laughs> no! I won't talk about it too much. I don't know if Ali has found it or played it in the new area yet. That's very valid. I appreciate that. My day's been good. I hope yours has been very nice. Thank you! Mine's been a little chaotic, but I'm happy to be streaming at least. Alright. It's hard out here for a gamer? It's true. <laughs> I have a friend with an unhealthy Genshin Impact hyperfixation. I didn't know you and Max were friends. 
Listen, uh, we all have friends with unhealthy uh, Genshin Impact hyperfixations. It's okay. Um, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do a sweet treat. I just, I don't feel like I'm gonna nail it on this round. So I don't wanna risk it. Oops. Okay, there we go. Nothing like a night of gaming after a long day. Too true. Too true. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try it again, y'all. We're gonna try it again. No, I'm not. I lied. We're just gonna get him. Got him. Okay. 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 Oh my god. He just destroys us again and I just cry. <laughs> If he heals again, I'm gonna cry for real, just FYI. And then we're gonna have a cry stream. Everybody likes that idea, right? <laughs> Kitchen Impact has gotten me through figuring out my lack of DDR access, that's valid. Oh my God, thank God. Okay. Kick my ass, will ya? <laughs> Man, this is getting old. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Brodus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. He's like the wind, in the sense that he's breaking it. Hey, we did it, Mario. It'll take a while to recover from that. He'll play for 24 hours straight without eating or sleeping and spend all his money not used on food for it. Oh, that's not good. That's not great. That's a bit too much. Like, I have my hyperfixations, but... Let's go! We did it, y'all! You blew it again, Lord Crump. This is what you get for putting your faith in a man named Crump. Why would you do that? <laughs> His name is Crump. And you trust this man to lead battles for you? You sicken me. <laughs> Ouch. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but you should put your faith in Blast Hard Cheese, exactly. Or any of the many names of David Ryder. Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? I understand nothing. Roger that. Then leave. Crunch butt steak. <laughs> Ooh, Lord Dump's in trouble. Hey, you there. You breaking the fourth wall? Oh, okay, no. Crunch Butt Steak. That's his name. That's his name. Gristle McThorn Body. Big McLarge Huge. He goes by many names. <laughs> what is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them to not fail me this time. You got it, sir. X gonna give it to you. Bob Johnson. Wait. <laughs> he looks like Robotnik. A little bit. I have one crystal star in my hands and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Maybe you should, like, piss yourself. I don't know. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. <gasps> Thank you for the confetti, Zach. I hope work's going okay. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? Sad beeping. I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? 
Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You'll be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech, really. Ask me anything. Uh, first, uh, rule number one. Don't ever tell a man that he can ask you anything. Uh, well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did early earlier. This one? Listen, uh, earlier was several months ago. Okay, this is the elevator. As a man can confirm, men are dangerous. Yep. They're gonna- you gotta be careful. They're gonna ask you what bra size you are, and they're not gonna know what it means. They just wanna know. <laughs> you will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus' room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Green lamp. Not that way. I'm sorry! Gotta close the Fey loophole or they'll take your wife and title. <laughs> it's true. You gotta be careful. Green light. How well. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes. What the fuck did I just say? You will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. You know, uh, I, that doesn't make me, like, non-corporeal. I'm still gonna, like, hit walls and shit. You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the con concoctionator. Ugh. A lot of unfortunate naming conventions in this game. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. That's a Welsh one, I think. Is that pronounced push? I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. All right, notes. Note, place the orange po- Oh, God damn it. Man, I hate these fucking kind of things. Hang on. I'm like never good at these. I don't know what it is. Okay. Orange goes between blue and green. No way! Last time I went into a room with a green lantern, and I had to put up with an hour and a half of Ryan Reynolds. Listen, some of us saw that movie in theaters, and we're still traumatized. Be nice. <laughs> All right. God, that fucking movie blue. All right, do not place the red potion on the far right. Okay, so let's say for right now, R, E, O, G. My, my cousin tried to convince me to watch it in theaters when it came out. Zag and I are both big Green Lantern fans, so we watched it in theaters and it was fucking awful. It was atrocious. The story is some beggar shows up at a wedding banquet and asks the prince to grant him a boon and the princess sure anything. And the beggar is like, okay, I want your wife. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Okay. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Okay. So it's just red, blue, orange, green, I guess. It says don't place the red on the far right. Yeah. So red, blue, orange, green, I guess. I guess I could have picked these all up, but I will fuck it up if I do it that way. Yep. Pretty sure. This button? Oh, this button. This button. That's yelling at me. 
I somehow managed to talk my way out of it. I did not. I wanted to see it. I was excited. I was like, yeah, Ryan Reynolds can play kind of a jackass. That could be fun. Because Hal Jordan's a jackass. Uh, but no, that was that was awful. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh, am I supposed to be doing this? Oh. Well, I didn't know. Are you just gonna sit there like this now? Red. Okay. We go back now? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? It's not right. I wasn't even paying attention. I just thought I would do it. Sure, heat it up. It's gonna go really well. Well, everybody, tonight's the night that Pe Peach dies. So I hope you've all made your peace, said goodbye. No. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm just living my best life. I was just vibing. I was like, yeah, this'll do it for me. I didn't know. Should've said yes. It would've been funnier. I'll give you that. Oh, I have to do it every time it stops somewhere? That's dumb. you mix this yourself exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts okay probably about right. <laughs> Tag the supercomputer. Can't set a timer for 30 seconds. Nope. And meanwhile, it's like beeping in my ear while I'm trying to keep time. Yes, I think it's fine. Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Goodbye, Peach. Oh. Are we gonna get naked? <laughs> Wait a second. Hang on now. We can't be doing that. This is a Nintendo game. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent. No way. Oh, fine. I guess if it's the only way. Uh, huh. Well... I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> when you go into Sir Grotus's room, first locate the disc with the recorded data, then insert that disc into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. This is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus's room. This is a lot of work just to get a floppy disk that has all of his pictures of Sarah Michelle Geller on it. You know what I mean? What? Okay, that was creepy. Why are the doors open even though there's no one here? Malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? I don't know. Probably losing it. The time when this game came out uh, at the same... Uh, the time this when this game came out at the same time as Chris Evans' Fantastic Four. God, that was another really bad movie. This game has a surprising amount of Peach getting naked. Yeah, honestly. It's a little uh, unsettling. There's a lot of naked Peach in here. I gotta go in the room room. 
Nobody's here. Oh, he's such an 80s guy. This must be Grotus' room. Now, where is that disc? Is it in the little Famicom disc system there? Okay, here's his computer at least, but I still need that darn disc. Found it. This must be it. Cute. A disc from Grotus' room. What kind of data is on it? Oh yeah, I insert the disc uh, into the computer and connect to the network. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> it's the little disc sound! Ah, it's so cute! <laughs> you can make her shower. She gets nude for a uniform. This part, I guess they really liked it. Yeah, no kidding. A little bit of fan service. That's his copy of 3D Hot Rally? What the hell? Man, he should at least be playing the Famicom Detective Club games. I did it! It's working! Yeah! The Famicom Stardust, I love it! Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. That's what I'm currently playing right now. Are you playing the new one? It's like I was never here. She just like, the potion goes off. She's just butt ass naked. We good? Can we leave? I hope you're enjoying it. Mine showed up in the mail, uh, but I do intend to stream it. So it's gotta be a little bit before that happens. I still have to get a capture card. Gotta get a brand new capture card. Or possibly a used capture card if I play my cards right. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. I think he was just erasing his high scores. I don't know. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You'll revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. I appreciate that, Max. It's by, all, by no means your responsibility, but that's very kind of you. The green potion. This one? Or do I just take this one out and drink it? What a relief. I was kind of worried I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. D like, isn't there like a whole theory that by definition you can't, like, if you were invisible, you would be blind? Like, you would not be able to see. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay. You'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tack. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tack. <laughs> Princess Peach, I will protect you. The data is clear. Sarah Michelle Geller is the superior Daphne. <laughs> there was this kid that I went to uh, junior high and high school with, um, and he was obsessed with Sarah Michelle Geller. And uh, we used to have to take computer classes back in the day. So we had like a computer class where we learned like typing and stuff in like seventh grade. And then eighth grade, we had more of like, um, it was more like how to navigate the internet um, and like what you could do with it. And like, we like use it to like do assignments and stuff. It was, I don't know, it was a weird class, but it, this was like, 
1999. Like it was still pretty new. Like we, we didn't have a home computer at this point. Uh, but I remember this kid would just do nothing in that class, but print out pictures of Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> he just had a bunch of them. <laughs> he just printed them out. <laughs> Took them home. Super normal things. <laughs> goodness okay sorry about that i thought my phone was on silent hey bowser how's it going buddy Blech. what is this place why is the light so weird here it's creeping me out the light's on because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. I'm just gonna... Hey, you. P -p -p Mama. Uh-huh. Crystal star. I have no idea, really. Please spare me. And if... Yeah, yeah. There was always at least one kid who tried that. I'm dreaming. Yep, just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. I still remember, like, a, the computer teacher that we had. Um, every kid, like, every, like, guy in that class had, like, a huge crush on her. She was young, too. She was really, she was really cool. Uh, but they all had crushes on her. And they were, like, really obvious about it. Because when you're, like, in eighth grade, you can't not be obvious about that sort of thing. And I still remember one of them gave her like a Valentine for Valentine's Day and he got detention because <laughs> not because he gave a grown adult a Valentine, uh, but because that Valentine had a butt on it. It was a Bart Simpson Valentine and it had his bare butt on it and they got detention and it was hilarious. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Bel Beldum said she lost her super bob somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else... Yeah! Oh, hey! Hey, John! How's it going? Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome on in, y'all! How was the rest of uh, Fortnite? Oh, you switched to GeoGuessr. I hope it went well. Howdy, howdy. Hey, John. Hi, cats. Hello, good fillins. That's a fun name. I like that. Hey, Edo. Hi, Alex. Hi, everyone. We've been invaded. Just a little. Welcome on in. Hold on. I got my little message for you. I hope everyone's doing well today. I hope the rest of your stream went well as well. I know you have to, like, pack and shit. So if you need to raid and run, please feel free. <laughs> But thanks so much for being here. I did. Forded lots of night. Fuck yeah. That's how you do it. I tried to play a little bit before I streamed because I'm, I have a problem. Uh, and I got my ass handed to me. But I did get like second on solo. So I was like, all right, that's good enough. I'm going to call it. I don't understand the new weapons that just, lo uh, that just like uh, updated. I got to figure that out. <laughs> so... Also said anti-disestablishmentarianism quite a bit. The world word has lost all meaning. I love that for you. <laughs> I love that for you. Well, welcome on in, y'all. We're playing uh, uh, Paper, Super Mario. Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Um, I have not uh, played this. This is a totally blind playthrough for me, funny enough. I, I do recognize that the game is like 20 years old. It's still new to me. It's must-see TV. <laughs> so... Uh, we do have ads coming up in a minute. I'm actually going to snooze them for like five minutes just so y'all can get accumulated. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, feel free to stick around. Uh, thank you for joining in on the raid. I appreciate it. Chin. <laughs> That's your name now, apparently. You're going to have to change your name again. I'm sorry. Chin things. <laughs> That's that's who you are now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chin things. Oh, um, for as far as where we are, we just got the fifth crystal star, um, and we are in Bowserland right now, baby. I love it. 
This is my destiny, as Alex foretold. Anything that Alex says goes. I don't make the rules. In fact, Alex does. So that's that's just how it works. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> the luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Huh? Somebody there? It was a big idea, turtle boy. Turtle boy. My popcorn from the theater arrived. What the, what do you mean? Did you just order popcorn from a movie theater or did somebody give it to you? I have questions. The fuck? <laughs> did you get the alien popcorn bucket? Cause that shit rules. All right. You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet. This will help the crump come back. I, mm, I ate, mm. I sure did. I just ordered off of DoorDash? I didn't know you could do that. What? <laughs> I think you've blown, you've blown Max's mind too. <laughs> I had no idea you could do that. It doesn't matter because I can't eat popcorn for like three more weeks, but once these fucking braces are off, your girl's gonna door dash some popcorn. <laughs> All right. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of? You? If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. Oh, no. <laughs> He's very sensitive about his weight. <laughs> All troops, report. Oh, there's a lot of them. The Beetlejuice bucket looks so cool. I haven't seen the Beetlejuice bucket. Hold on, hold on. I gotta Google the Beetlejuice bucket. Vampy, have I ever shown you my popcorn bucket? It's a big Tamagotchi, and I love it more than anything. Uh, Beetlejuice popcorn bucket. I love that popcorn buckets are becoming a thing out here. I truly do. I think it's overdue. Oop. I, I have a Tamagotchi one. I, I guess they did like a movie, like a movie theater in Thailand. Um, like that, that was like the popcorn bucket that they did for like, I think they had a Tamagotchi movie. Uh, and it's just a big ass Tamagotchi. It rules. Sounds like a dream. I love it so much. Oh, I see two here. I see one that looks like a handbook for the recently deceased, which rules. And I see another one that's just the sandworm. These are both really cool. We have an ad coming in about three minutes, y'all. Just FYI. It's, they're calling it a popcorn, the handbook for the recently deceased. They're calling it a popcorn bucket. But it's just like one of those hidden books. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> I kind of love it though. I feel like Regal Theaters gets all the best buckets. I love pop time, me too. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Bowser, where's all of your minions? You dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up. That's right. There you go. Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? I got two large buckets. Today is a treat myself kind of day. I love that for you, boo. I hope you enjoy the shit out of it. An all-out gang war in Twilight Town. <laughs> this is about as exciting as the fight from Twilight. <laughs> Oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks. Ouch. Super bomb. Incoming! Oh, I ate bonked my little nose. Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. This is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. <laughs> Bowser, why are you so fucking dumb, man? Boom. I already know exactly what popcorn I'm going to order when I get these braces off, though. There's a specific brand that I love that does, like, a caramel cheese. 
And I'm I'm buy I'm gonna buy a bag of that. I'm really I'm I'm so fucking ready. Y'all don't even know how ready I am to get these fucking braces off. It's gonna be incredible. It's it's been almost three years. <laughs> it's been 84 years. You! You have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, oh, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. I just fucking hate Flavio. <laughs> It's a right night place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm sure they'll be all right here, don't you think? Let's leave, Mario. By the way, there's a glitch to keep Flavio in your party for the rest of the game? Man, guess what I'm not gonna do? Ever. Ah, <laughs> uh, absolutely not. Okay, are you gonna, like, behave if I turn this down a little bit? Like, what if I just turn it down to here? Will you behave? Okay. I think it might behave. We're gonna find out. We're waiting for you. What are y'all doing? Are y'all playing games? Tragic. All right, let's see. Who plays video games, honestly? Who does that? Hi, Karam! How are you, dear? I hope you're doing well. How's Boat Mario? Pretty boaty, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, we got our ass kicked last stream, but we made up for it by kicking this guy's ass this time, so. Pretty good. Sleepy? I'm sorry you're sleepy. I hope you get some good rest. Did school start for you? Oh, okay. School started yesterday. Yeah, that's fair. I hope it's been an okay couple of days at least. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end, huh? The ship sailed smoothly on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though as it sounds. People prefer sports over video games? Are they some kind of nerds? Don't look at me. It has been, but I'm so very sleepy. Oh, I hope you can get some good sleep tonight. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now, I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Flavio. <laughs> and only me, I've never played a sport in my life. I'm not, I'm not about to start now. At last we return, slathered in gore, gl gory, slathered in glory, to my hometown, Sweet Roadport. Of course, it's only because of my courageous efforts that we can return at all, huh? But of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. <clears throat> but now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? what? Hey, where? Y'all leaving already? Oh, that was harsh. Let him take a damn shower. Fuck. Look at him. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? Yeah. One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? <laughs> if ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. I would sooner just rip my own vocal cords out. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keelhaul Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? I like how everyone in Rogueport is okay with having a rundown creepy ship dog there with a big floating skull. Don't forget the giant floating skull. That's that's the part that everyone's the most cool with. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. 
Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. Don't go. Wait, don't go. I was just about to give you your pay. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, well, we should be out of ad jail now. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, eh? Flavio, don't talk to Cortez like that. I will fight you. How come Cortez can't join our party? That would be way cooler. So, Mario, do you think maybe we should go too? Maybe go to the door? Yeah, you think? The whole fucking purpose of everything we're doing? We got an email. And it's from a female. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with the details of their, of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Oh my, that princess of yours is so courageous. We'd better get to work, too. Fight me, Mario! <laughs> Why are you fighting Mario? Also, hi, Ellie. Excuse me, sorry. Don't make your little brother worry. Be careful when you go out to sea from now on. Aww, no. <laughs> Joke's on you. I don't have a little brother. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, this is awkward. You didn't hear that, did you, Luigi? <laughs> uh. Bye. <laughs> like <laughs> I want to assert my dominance. I believe in you. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass. A jazzafraz town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Whoa. It was pretty nutty, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Are you guys ready? Y'all fucking ready for Luigi time? I know you are. What's that? You don't have a record by Donna Summer. I know what someone's getting for Arbor Day. <laughs> the fuck? Hold on. Does Loogie have a flowey? Yeah, I assume that the... I assume he owes the flower money. That's usually how this works. <coughs> hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know? But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called drama Lama plaque might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro. Grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece to the Marvelous Compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, that voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you, I will reach you, I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Oh, so yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. I came back to Rogueport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. The end. <laughs> Allie, thank you for gifting a sub to Bambi. I appreciate that. Bambi, enjoy your emotes. Oh my god. Guayas, we just thank you for the thank you for the clips, y'all. <laughs> I appreciate it. 
Give me Luigi or give me death. I have great news for you. Drama Slam would be better a better name for pro wrestling. I feel like Effie would call it something a, dram a drama slam. By the way, you ever heard of the Grateful Dead? The fans keep talking about them. <laughs> wow, when I find some, wow, when will I find someone who will stand by my side and be in my, be, not, be my Luigi? Aim higher, Nick. I beg of you. <laughs> Aim higher. We need a glass sound by now. <laughs> grass. <laughs> he was he was indignant. <laughs> RJ City's Drama Slam coming to a GCW collective near you. Fuck yeah. Can I change my top three wrestlers to someone who doesn't wrestle? <laughs> RJ in there. <laughs> Aim higher than grass? That's pretty ambitious for me, Liz. You can do better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Now we gotta see what the flower has to say. If you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Yeah, I bet you will. I'm hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor. One of the finest I've ever seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> Jedi needs to aim for, like, Henry Crabgrass. Oh, hi. All right. See, I I was I asked I asked the PingTuber app if I could trust it, and the PingTuber app was like, yeah, you can totally trust me. I won't just keep talking, and it lied. <laughs> it lied to you, and it lied to me. Okay, I pushed it back down. Jedi understands the reference. No worries. Okay. I assume this has to be like a Veggie Tales thing. If, if y'all have the same reference. <laughs> I got an email! Oh my god, I have email? I feel so cool. It was Critical Role? Oh, okay. <laughs> I know fuck all about Critical Role. I have been watching Dimension 20, though, and it's wonderful. <laughs> Alas, not VeggieTales this time. Fair enough. Oh. A new rogue port today. Gumez, age 40, known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. As for comment, Gumez stated, Well, I just really, really love flowers, and I was hanging out, and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Rogueport responded with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. Shop reporter, go! This time we'll introduce the Twilight Shop. Watching the husband and wife proprietors of this shop at work is a heartwarming sight, but don't get on that hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife, says the jovially jealous shopkeeper. Yeah, that's not toxic at all. I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth aren't going to change that. <laughs> oh, no, not the teeth. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We pressed the shopkeeper for further comment, but regret that his words are unprincipled here. But we did learn from the little misses that there will be a double point sale for our all RDM readers. Just show her the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. He just ate them. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about Critical Role, sorry. It's a new form of cuteness aggression. You can't just come up to somebody with your fine city teeth and just steal their wife. That's rude, you know? Cooking for rookies. All right, my little rookies, we're on an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is a healthy salad. Just slice up a turtley leaf and horsetail, mix them together, and you're done. Great for dieters. That's all for today, but check your mailbox soon for another exciting issue. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. All right. Well, that was fun. Okay, how are we doing? Is all our health all back to normal? Cool. I'm gonna save here. My head hurts like hell, so I'm gonna take head, uh, meds and go eat, so I'm alert. Oh, I hope your head feels better. At least I hope some meds and some food help. Thank you for the alert, Kanagi. 
feel better. Oh, what are you doing out here? Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. I don't want to go back there. <laughs> I just went there. The Goomba is Link. Prove me wrong. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. We can power up Bobbery. You don't have to do this, but it can make the game a lot easier for you. It's your decision if you want to do it, but it was just What if I'm just like, I, what if I whine like that the whole time? And then I just do a speed run of following, like losing followers. <laughs> then you may go. All right. That is Link. Look at him. Hey, Don Bianca collapsed. Yeah, the boss of West Rogueport down and out. Have you heard that already? He's been in bed ever since. I wonder how he's doing. Don Bianca. Oh, fuck. Where is he at? On the bright side, you don't have to go to the dragon's room again. That is the bright side. You're right. I tell you, Ishnael is miles better than that Don Pianta guy by a long shot. Now, don't get me wrong. I've never met either one. So I'm just talking here. You're just talking at your ass. I respect that. No. I just remembered I can be a boat. I'm gonna be the best fucking boat y'all have ever seen in your life. Can I go this way? No. You're gonna be so goddamn impressed by my boatiness. Nailed it. By the way, shout outs to that Link hat wearing the Goomba. He actually gives a, uh, good advice. Uh, between each chapter on where to go. Noted. We love a helpful, helpful guy. Double dip. Ooh, I do love that badge. His name is Goomfree. Oh my god, that's a fantastic name. I am so impressed by your boatiness. Thank you. I'm just doing my very boaty best. <laughs> Can I go up there? No. Okay. I'm not looking for y'all. Is it on the other side of town? Hi, Mosh, how are you? Welcome on in. I do hope I said that right. Sorry, I'm bad at everything. <laughs> Sounds like a made-up title Kamek would use for Bowser. What is it, your boatiness? Yes, agreed. I also, like, just remembered that, like, when we were doing this game originally, I was using, like, a fucking cat terrible Catherine Hepburn voice uh, for Cammy, and I totally forgot, and I'm not doing it, because that hurts. That shit hurted. <laughs> okay, we gotta find Don Pianta. That's definitely how you pronounce that. Pianta. Hello. What do you got? You got the fevered look of a, of a man with a mind for goods. I do like buying shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, shooting star is pretty good. I don't have enough money for anything else. Well. Wario's clothes! God damn! I was going to stream, but I completely forgot and cooked instead. That's so valid. I almost forgot to stream today. <laughs> playing Fortnite. <laughs> well, look who it is. The proverbial mustache. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pianta Parlor. 
Oh, hey you! Hey you! Hey you! Hi. Go blow that up. What? Maybe I wasn't close enough. Hey you! Go blow that up. There we go. He's got the best badge in the game. I know, but I don't have 360 coins. I'm so sad. Why am I so broke? Why am I such a scrub? Dompianta, what's wrong? Oh no. What's wrong with him? Talk to me. Hey. Hey, if it ain't the guys from before, you need to meet with the boss once again, eh? Well, normally we could, you know, help you out, but the boss is currently snoozing. Well, what's wrong with him? Well... What if I just hit him? What if I just bonk him? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Well, I hope he's okay. You know what TLC says about scrubs? I know. I know all of it. At least he's got a nicer bed than the grandfather in Stardew Valley got. True. Now I have no scrub stuck in my head. This is not a bad thing. I'm just making a statement. I want a number. Oh no, I don't want that. No, fuck you. I don't even have enough money for Wario. You think I'm just gonna give you my fucking money? Get the fuck out of my sight. How refreshing. Life feels so simple when I'm near flowers. Who knows why? Maybe I'm just tired. Don't eat them again. Honestly, I was legitimately uh, expecting the bed to be nicer for 1.6. No. Thank you for the three stream streak, Amash. I appreciate it. Thank you. Alas, Mr. Ape did not see fit. No, the bed is perfect as is. Yeah. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Oh, I know the whole fucking song. Don't worry about it. I loved TLC when I was younger. Loved TLC. My friend and I used to listen to the Crazy Sexy Cool album all the time. Crazy Sexy Cool? Yeah, I think that was the name of it. This is a fan-fucking-tastic album. Alright, where to go? I need to go down. I need to go down. One day concerned Abe will come back from getting smokes and bring us 1.6 for the switch. Daddy's not coming home, Sean. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's gone. Oh my god. PNG tuber, please. Please. I just need you to work properly. Thank you. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna try and reinstall this. Ah, no! Come back! Let me out. Let me down. I'm very important. I'm a VIM. I'm a very- I'm, I'm a VIP. I'm a very important plumber. Bobbery, get your ass out here. Front and center, bitch. Alright. Blow that shit up. Ooh, secret pipe? What does this do? Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck? You've come quite a ways. This is Chet Rippo's adjustment house. <laughs> what the fuck? If you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. Oh, interesting. I assume this is like how I can change like 
rank ups and like what goes into what. I'm just guessing here. But that's good to know. Secret tunnel. It's a secret tunnel through the mountains. I'm now waiting for my food to cool. What'd you make? I need to watch Avatar again. It has been several years and I love that show so goddamn much. I tried so hard to watch Korra and I just couldn't do it. And I should probably give that a shot again too. I experimented with an Instagram recipe of zucchini roll-ups with ricotta in them. I made tofu ricotta in the lactose intolerance. Ooh. Very nice. I hope it's good. Sounds good. Oh, that's right. I gotta go to the other side. I'm a silly goose. Oh, right, food. Corinne, go eat a food. Tofu ricotta is way easier than expected to make. Excellent. Right, I gotta go back now. I will, but that means I have to get up. Okay. I didn't mean to go this way. This is the way to the dragon though, isn't it? I mean, we could just go to the dragon real quick. I love the classic hit all the buttons before become boat. Yep, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I didn't even mean to come here, but we're gonna go see the dragon. All right, so what did the guy say? I gotta do a flip? I don't know. I am. I'm doing great. I think I'm doing a fantastic job. I will take zero criticism. Go to the room where the cursed chest is. Ah, shit. Uh, yeah, I definitely remember where that is. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out together as a family. Disclaimer, this is not a family, I'm sorry. So proud, thank y'all. Thank y'all. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing so fucking good. I'm so goddamn good at video games, y'all. I play them and everything. I do. I play so many fucking video games. I come on here maybe like three times a week if I got time. I play the shit out of some video games and you're all very impressed. I know. I know. Try to contain yourselves. Red flag, do not finish the hiring process. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I am just always constantly trying to push uh, uh, anyone who thinks that, that this is a good place to be parasocial out. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. It's easier to get to the dragon room at least. Less travel. Okay. Oh, there you go. Don't you know I'm playing really fucking good video games right now? What the fuck? Wait, what is this? Hold fast. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty good. We're not gonna fucking do it, but it's pretty good. Parasocial, who would dare? Nobody, thankfully. I think it's because I'm kind of a bitch. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Not everybody comes in who comes in here is very respectful. I appreciate that. I feel like the important part of like streaming is holding boundaries. For sure. Because, like, I've noticed that, like, people will come in here 
and as soon as like somebody's like no backseating, they'll leave. And I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Like, if the only reason that you come into my stream is so you can dictate how I how I do something, or my gameplay, or how I react to something, I don't want you here. <laughs> Your angry mom friend? Yeah, yeah, kinda. These fans be all over Liz like flowers on grass, Luigi? You're goddamn right! <laughs> we love that, we need that. Mm -hmm. People who meet me once on the bus want to share their life story with me. I have the therapist aura. Oh boy. My, uh, my, my fiance has the, um, uh, has that kind of aura, aura, uh, but it's more like, uh, old ladies who look at him and go, what a nice young man. I'm going to tell him all about my life. <laughs> but the problem is, is that he'll be like, yes, tell me all about your life. <laughs> and I'm like, I just want to leave Target. <laughs> I need to travel with an RBF friend? That's me. <laughs> I got the bitch face and it do be resting. <laughs> Students do the same thing to me. People who come into streams just to backseat though, something's terribly wrong there. It's just so strange. I don't know why you would go into somebody's stream to backseat. At any time like somebody's playing a game that I'm really excited about, I'm so scared that I'm backseating that I just try not to as hard as I can. Like, um, uh, when, uh, like, Vampy's been streaming Fields of Mystery on and off, and I'm just like, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm just, I'm, Because <laughs> I get so excited. But you have to be mindful, you know? I need to meet Zach. I'm so sad the world said no when you were supposed to come out. Yeah, you know. Sounds like an old lady was right about him being a nice young man if he listens. Honestly, like, when I used to wait tables, uh, Zach would come and sit in my section all the time. Um, cause like, that was usually like one of the easiest ways for us to hang out. And, um, anytime like there would be like old ladies there, he would always talk to them. Um, he'd always strike up a conversation and every fucking time when they'd be like leaving, they'd like pull me aside and be, they'd be like, that is a nice young man you've got there. You hang on to him. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Thank you for the advice and the dollar tip. I appreciate it. <laughs> I've always joked like I can't wait to become an old woman because Zach's just going to love me. <laughs> He's going to be so excited. <laughs> there he is. Hello, dear. <laughs> Sounds like the one time this old lady called my phone by accident while trying to call her son and then I told her she got the wrong number. She apologized and started telling me her life story. Yeah, I worked in call centers before. They, they do that. They do that. <laughs> Good news, the food is tasty. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for you. That's such a good idea to make like a, a ricotta out of tofu. I feel like tofu is so easy to manipulate into like textures. Uh, especially like similar textures like ricotta. That makes perfect sense. Where is this chest? Good news, the food is tasty. I see, see. Yeah. I always end up with the outcast kids getting way too comfy with me because I'm like one of the only adults in their life who is polite to them. Um, yeah, I mean, I certainly never got, like, unreasonably attached to my English teachers. That's not- I wasn't- I- that- that- <laughs> Who would do- who would do that? <laughs> this is the re same reason boys always thought I, uh, I was flirting with them. Uh, yeah. What are we looking for? We're looking for the room where the cursed chest is. I'm not sure where it is. I might have got too much popcorn. No such thing. Eat more popcorn. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely not one of those like tell your life story uh, people uh, until like you know me a little bit, and then all of a sudden I get everybody's life story, and then I'm like, okay, this is a lot. <laughs> You're heading in the right direction? Okay. 
If that's just a gay thing, it's fine. I was very attached to my English teacher too, and it wasn't my dad who was my English teacher once. There you go. I, I've always gotten like super attached to my uh, my English professors and teachers. Um, it just is what it is. I don't remember how to do this. Oh, that's right. This was all like foggy before, so we're fine. We're fine. You, blow it up. Oh. Come here. Get it. Gosh darn it. Bobbery. There we go. Yeah, you found it. But yeah, I always, I always was like, I was always super attached to my English teachers. Except for my senior high school English teacher. I hated that guy. He was a dick. Uh, but then I, uh, I, I opted out. I opted the fuck out of that class, and I took a different class instead with my favorite English teacher. So I got to have him three times. Super exciting. I also loved my freshman year English teacher. She was fantastic. Um, and unfortunately, she passed away pretty recently. Uh, but she was, oh, she was great. She was a big musical buff. Huge musical buff. And so was I. Um, and she would always like do name that tune with me. She or like something similar. She would like walk in and she'd be singing a show tune and she'd go, Liz, what's that one? <laughs> I just loved her. And then I had my uh, English teacher that I adored uh, junior year. And then I had him for two different classes, senior year. Uh, sophomore year, I don't think I got along with my English teacher. Actually, I think she kicked me out of class once. Um, but that was fine. Uh, we I liked the stuff that we read, so it's good enough. Because, like, sophomore year is when you read, like, yellow wallpaper and shit. So I was all about that. And, like, Gatsby. Um, and then uh, hi, uh, college, uh, when I was at community college, uh, I was, like, super close to my English professor. Um, she was, oh, she was fantastic. She wrote me a letter of recommendation for, like, my uh, university applications that were so kind that I, like, bald when I read them. They were just so nice. Tenth grade, Greek mythology unit. Mrs. K was very pretty and super smart and nice. Of course she was my fave. Very fair. I think we did Greek I think we really only did mythology like eighth grade. We didn't revisit it at all, which was kind of a bummer. Yeah, that would have been really cool. We did kind of like typical honors English route, you know? So like, um, like a lot of like Hemingway and like Gatsby and yeah, just a lot of the same usual shit. We did have like a summer reading for like sophomore year, which was really cool. We got to pick the book. Um, so I, I think I picked like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which is still one of my favorite books. We did Greek mythology leading up to Antigone. That's really cool. I grew up in a dinky town with 20 kids total in my grade. Oh, woof. Not really options. Yeah, it sounds like it. I'm sorry, what did I just get? What did I just pick up there? Up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody. Okay. We could go to the professor. Oh, the teller dude and the- uh, oh, the fortune teller dude. Oh, that's right. Duh. I grew up in a pretty large- well, okay, that's not true. So, elementary school, all the elementary schools I went to, of which there were several, um, were all small towns. Um, and then my junior high was a relatively good size, and my high school was a pretty big- it was a pretty big high school. Um, it was, however, a public school in a area of a county that doesn't get a lot of funding. Um, so there wasn't a lot of options. Um, really not a lot of like variation in the curriculum. Um, and not a lot of like extracurriculars either. So like we had like we had like the basics. We had like drama and like speech team. Choir was technically um, a class as well as an extracurricular because you could take the class and then you could sign up for the additional um, the additional choirs 
uh, which is what I did. So I did like concert choir, and then I also did women's choir, madrigal choir, and jazz choir, because um, those were the choirs. But that was about it. It means, what is that? Ah, yes. <laughs> it means that way. Mm -hmm. It means point. Uh, okay, where am I? Party. Sopa's fucking emotes always kill me. They're so goddamn funny. Okay. He's scooting. The elementary school I went to got torn down a couple of years ago. One of the elementary schools that I went to is now a social security office. Uh, which is very funny because it still has my school, like the school name on the front of the building. They never took that down. <laughs> Um, one of one of the other ones was torn down um, and rebuilt, so that one is still in the same spot, but it's completely rebuilt and it's like super fucking heartless. It's it's very like gray drab building. Um, I think the other ones that I went to are still around. One of the fucking elementary schools I went to, I lived in. Whoop, I lived in a town that had about 700 people in it, um, so the entire school was K through 12. So that was the only time that I went to school with every single one of my siblings. <laughs> every one of them. We were all in the same school. My sophomore year of high school, my English teacher at first hated me because she saw my long hair and assumed I was a punk. But then she saw my writing and warmed up to me. I had her again junior year and by the start of that year she was quite attached to me. And I expressed no desire to go to a mandatory pep rally. She asked if I wanted to just stay in the classroom with her. Oh, I love that. There were no clubs, just UIL, which was interscholastic competition in the spring for the state. I would have loved that. Oh, that would have been great. We didn't get anything like that. I drive past my elementary school every day. It has a better playground now and air conditioning. Woof. Meanwhile, the middle school I went to got turned into an elementary school and a high school. The high school I went to uh, stayed the same. Located in the high crime slash gang activity. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, let's go talk to that wizard dude. Oh wait, how do? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> okay, this is the first level. How do I get to the door? I never remember. Let's find out. Yeah, I, some of the schools that I went to really should be torn down, but they're not. <laughs> they're still here. Down to and left. Thank you. Why are there so many of you down here now? My goodness. How dare you. Now I work at the middle school and high school that I went to. We that's gotta be such an odd feeling. It's gotta feel so surreal. I found it! The enemies change after chapter five. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I um when I was um down south last year um we stopped in like uh the area that i one of the areas that i grew up in and uh it was really fun because like i got to point out a lot of stuff to zach um because he's never been down there and uh he's never met any of my family down there he got to meet my aunt um which was really cool because i love her she's fantastic um but we didn't have like enough time to like meet like my great aunts like see my great aunts and stuff or my cousins um but I got to show him like some of the places that I lived and like the houses that I lived in. It was very surreal because I had like a muscle memory moment. Like I've never driven down there because I was a kid when we lived down there. Uh, but we ha I had like this bizarre moment. We were driving, I'm not gonna mention the towns, but we were driving from one of the towns that I grew up in to an or lived in to another town that I lived in. And um, we got to like this like fork in the road 
and in my head I was like turn left or like turn around or something um and uh he was like what and I'm like this is the this is like this is this is the cemetery that all of my family is buried in it's right here and he's like what and I'm like yeah like turn around it's right there <laughs> like I just I like I muscle memoried it I like I had a flash and I was like oh I know exactly where we are <laughs> this is where my whole family is buried um, so that was really, it was really nice because I hadn't seen my, like my, my grandparents or my, my family's graves in a long, long time. Um, so I got to like stop and, and do that. And it was completely coincidental. We were not intending to stop anywhere. We were driving straight through. So that was really, that was really interesting. I was, I, I didn't expect to remember that so, vi so vividly. Do y'all know how awkward it is to be colleagues with your seventh grade social studies teacher? Like, what am I supposed to do? Call her Jennifer? I could never. <laughs> I ended up working at the library across the street from my high school, and I got to see all the craziness that happened in the front parking lot almost three uh, for almost three years. That's the same feeling I got when I explored the outside of my abandoned elementary school with my friend before it got torn down. I pointed out the locations of the gym, my fifth grade classroom, the cafeteria, outdoor unit. It was wild. Yeah. Ooh, good meds reminder. Thank you, Jedi. Yeah, I like, um, it was fun. It was funny because like, I don't remember how to get to everywhere that we live down there. My mom does. She knows all that shit by heart. Um, uh, but I wasn't driving with my mom. We were just driving together. Um, so I had to like wing some of it, but I knew exactly where like the house that I lived in, that my best friend lived down the street. I remembered that one super easy. That was like, that was again, just like immediate. Um, and then the house that we moved into after we moved out of that house. Um, so we like, we stopped at those. Um, it was actually, it was a really surreal moment because we stopped there um, and we drove past my, my best friend's parents' house. Um, and I was like, oh, I should call him and tell him where I am. And I didn't. Uh, and I regret the shit out of that. But I like I it turned out like I guess like uh, later I found out that like they didn't even live there anymore. They had moved like just before we went down there. It was so funny. It says that you don't really forget. Yeah, it's it's surprising because like I don't remember a lot about being younger. Um, oh, yeah. But I remember, like, I remembered that shit, and I remembered how to get to, like, my, my elementary school, and I remembered how to get to, like, the, um, some of the houses that I lived in, and I couldn't fucking tell you where to get, how to get to the other schools, I don't remember, <laughs> but I remember that one really well, because it was such, like, an influ influential, like, time in my life, because that was where, like, I met my best friend, um, and, like, I was there for probably the longest, uh, because I was there for, like, two years, year and a half, uh, which was pretty long, <laughs> so. One of my cousins that hasn't been in uh, Virginia since 2001, she still remembers where everything is. That's so funny, because my friend will come down here to this area where she grew up, and she won't remember where anything is. <laughs> I think everyone's a little different. Great news, my friends. The next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights. Okay, cool, thanks. Oh man, aren't there oodles of rich and famous people living in that place? Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshly Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's all just a tourist attraction. Get to the point, Prof. How do we get to the Snobville anyway? Oh, this chapter, I love this one. Okay. That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of, of all, the Excess Express. Oh, I love that. Poshly Heights, that's where I want to be. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been backbreaking work, but this time it'll be a cinch. I am pressing X to doubt here. Hey, I heard you have to be all rich and famous to get a ticket for that train. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta uh, for help with this too. Are you crazy? I heard a story about that guy and he sounds like a loon. Man, well, whatever. I guess if we gotta, we gotta, right? Let's do this, Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I literally copied a save file right before getting into the train just so I could be able to play it over and over again. Oh, my God. And we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. 
You guys just handle your end of things. Okay, well first we got to talk to the wizard. Whoops. Wrong place, wrong place. I'm in the wrong area, and I knew it as soon as I walked in here. My mom will sometimes drive me through her old neighborhood when we're in town, uh, the town she grew up, and she's like, there's my house. Yeah, no, my mom has done that to me several times. <laughs> my mom has done that to me many times. Um, especially, like, uh, the area that she grew up in, there was a lot of development um, when she was younger. And my grandfather uh, was an excavator. He owned an excavating business. Um, so he, like, did a lot of the foundational work for a lot of houses in that area. And she oh, she just loves, like, driving through and pointing it out. Like, yeah, he helped build that house and uh, that house. And he did this one. He helped build that building. And, like, because he was, like, a builder, too. He did a lot of stuff. Um so she's she's always like super excited and she's like this is where i went to school this is where i grew up and i'm like i know mom we've driven through here many times <laughs> i don't really care uh for egg but respect for keeping kayfabe you know i can't be mad <laughs> is being good the great gonzalez not rich and famous enough for this fucking train no he's a wrestler he doesn't have any fucking money <laughs> This happens rarely for me because my parents moved to the opposite end of the country of their home area, but on occasion. Yeah, like, so my um, my parents lived in one area that we moved away from for most of my life and then moved back to. You have no partners whom I could power up, but I wanted to tell you about the thing. There you go. What's this? An up arrow? Yes. An up arrow? Up? Of course! Of course! Oh, okay, bye! <laughs> the fuck? Is that your clown nose, bitch? <laughs> this is the Ultra Stone. So that is what that star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Okay, cool. <laughs> he literally ascended. Yep. Up, up, up. Me talking to my cat? Yeah. Uppies? <laughs> Just keep patting your leg until it's bruised. Uppies? We're cooking now. Let me know when you want to get me to power... What? No, let me know when you want me to power up your allies more. Yeah, okay. Who can I power up? I like Bobbery a lot. I tend to use coops more than anything, though. Sure. Oh, I can do two. Okay. I'd say read the abilities and then decide who you want. No, I'm just gonna wing it. Greg Gonzalez is three years away from wrestling in front of 20 people at a VFW hall in a fucking Florida shot! <laughs> Great Gonzalez is 20 years away from doing a match with a guy who makes a song about up about his shit people's elbow. <laughs> All right, let's see. Use bombast to attack all enemies. I don't care about confusing. I really only, ooh, smooch. That sounds pretty good. Dodgy fog, stampede. Belt. Mm. I'm going to mouse. Shazibi Shazubi. Mm -hmm. Funny thing, I hear VFW and it just reminds me that I have literally one down the street from me. I think ours is gone now. I went to a Halloween party there when I was younger. That was fun. Coops I never really thought was worth it. I just wanted to give him more HP. He has so little. Ms. Mouse. She's smooching. Okay, I think that's all the stars I have, so. I'm back. Yo, Henry, swing your arms from side to side. Don't throw your back out because you're really old. Come on, come on. 
go to the Gonzales. Stop it. <laughs> Joe Hendry's gonna humble that man. <laughs> Y'all keep saying coops and I'm like my K-pop boy. I have no idea. Bobbery, Ms. Mouse, and Yoshi's were the ones I used. I don't have enough to power up anyone else right now, so. But we got who we got. <laughs> We've got ads starting in about five minutes, y'all, just FYI. Okay. Okay. What was I doing? I gotta go talk to Pianta. Leader of 17 goes by the stage name S. Coops, with Coops pronounced like Coops. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Yahoo! Francesca? Aw, oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone, the boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffly gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us left and right. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? What? Tickets for the ritziest train around? For the ex ex excess express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling wing ding? Now, the Excess Express also sounds like a wrestling team. <laughs> Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, I was giving out tickets. That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew where those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. I do know. You mean that cutie Frankie and that darling Francesca? They were on Keel Hall Key. Who's on to what now? Bees are on the what now? Dreamland Express, mm-hmm. Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I'll turn you into confetti, so help me. That's no way to talk to a lady mouse. Bees are on the what now? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca. And we'll do what we can to get you your train tickets. We got a deal or what? Yeah. I want to go on the train. I know you'd understand our predicament. Once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. Oh, I'm going to screw it up. You can't even stop me. I screw up everything. That's just, it's kind of my MO. All right, let's go. Boo, is this your cousin? You gotta tell her I like her outfit. Hey there, cuties. Welcome to West Side Goods. Chicken points. I keep seeing videos of people with girl cats, and then the girl cats bite or scratch or something. They're like, that's not polite. That's not what little ladies do. Fuck that! <laughs> Fuck them up, kitty! If I hear that goddamn very demure, very mindful meme one more time, I'm gonna piss myself. <laughs> stop stop policing how women dress. Stop policing how they act. Cut it out. It's Pika, her sister Lala works at the parlor. Cute. I love it. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go to Keel Hall. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Boy, bueno. Twilight Town, I love for the aesthetic and because we get my favorite party member, but this level is my favorite fun level. Ooh, I'm excited. We'll see if we can get to it. We got ads starting in one minute, y'all. I think everybody here is subbed, but just FYI if you're lurking. That just reminded me. Looks at Felicia, she fires an inch long snot rocket into the back of the couch. <laughs> yeah, you just keep on doing your thing, kid. Remember not to sit on your couch next. <laughs> next time I'm over there. Uh... 
in the Japanese version, they wore bunny ears. Cute. I assume that uh, the connotation was enough for them not to do that here. Muy bueno feels awkward to say because usually you say muy, be muy bien. Yeah. Where are y'all at? Blanky, Francesca, there you are. There you go. Oh, hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? We do something for you? What? The boss is sick. Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And at a time like this. You see, I, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. Oh my god. <laughs> None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times. One hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. <laughs> now, please, let's go. No! You have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Ah, oh, fine, you crazy dame. Um, do I have to sit here for this whole thing? Because I'm going to lose my mind. I love how the rings go around our entire hand. Me too. Oh my god, it's counting it? Oh. Okay. Can I leave? Can I go? I like how Ms. Mouse looks like she's kind of counting in her head along. It's funny. It's kind of toxic. <laughs> I think if, like, I think if my fiance was mad at me and was like, now you have to say you love me a hundred times or I'm not going anywhere, I'd be like, alright, well, then suffer. I don't know what to tell you. Well, at least we're in an ad break. <laughs> I was being facetious. Mm. Ms. Mouse would absolutely count to get uh, uh, count to get this guy in deeper shit. Ms. Mouse would be sitting there going 42, 65, 12. <laughs> you want to give me an ultimatum? Guess you're just going to have to die. I'm just saying. <laughs> then perish. <laughs> hey, Jacob. Oh, Frankie, baby. You're such a silly billy. Okay. Now my little cream puff. Let's find our ring right away. What do you say? Do you think these two can really make it on their own, dearie? Personally, I don't think so. We should help them. Yeah, probably. Did you forgot this is the late 90s, early 2000s? I didn't forget it. I just don't like it. I could not like it even if it's dated. Useless trivia, if you have the Yoshi kid in this cutscene, this is one of those few times in the game he addresses you as Mario? Really? Wild. Oh god, I was gonna cry if it was like right there. It'd be so funny. Sorry, I had the hiccups out of nowhere. Oh. No, I hate you. I got a Mr. Mini! Huzzah! Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll just have to kill you all now, won't I? You're really forcing my hand here, I'm just saying. Oh. I forgot about this. Ow! Not today, bitch. I love the entire audience is plants. I don't feel like I'm on like a good playing field here, you know? I feel like this crowd might not be rooting for me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nice. Bingo! 
Yeah, there's some x knots in here. I see them too. Sometimes Luigi's in here, and that's the worst thing of all. <laughs> Alright, the ad break should be over, y'all. Rude! Stop poisoning me! I'm just a little guy! Look at me! I'm just a little hammer dude! You guys are so mean. Can you go to the audience and bitch slap Luigi? Only if he's throwing stuff at me. Oh. That's fun. Smooch ya! Stop it. I'm already poisoned. Quit being a dick. Alright, come here. Come here. Oh, to be a little mouse with a mask and a smooch. Mm -hmm. Man, what you got against Luigi? I actually love Luigi. <laughs> I find him very annoying in this game, but I love Luigi. Luigi's Mansion is one of my favorite games of all time. Look, I remembered. I remembered that I don't need him for this. I remember. If I can get my capture card replaced by Halloween, uh, I will be probably streaming the Luigi's 2 HD. So get ready for that shit. Because I've played the other two on stream. I'm still so sad we never got a game of Luigi's Adventure from this. It is, it would be really cute. go there if I can avoid that. I recently 100%ed that. Ton of fun. I loved Dark Moon. Um, oh, there it is. So I, I'm very excited to play the HD version. I feel like I always felt bad for Dark Moon because like it was gonna be a hard follow-up from the first Luigi's Mansion, but I thought it did a really good job. The third Luigi's Mansion, I still enjoyed it, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't my favorite by far. Um, I, I really don't like Luigi. It's just not my thing. Not a fan. How is it only doing one point of damage? Why are you here? God damn it. I gotta swap partners. Oops! You're my boy, Coops. Not today, bitch. I don't fuck with Guiji, me neither. I'm not a fan of Guiji. I've, I've mentioned this many times on stream and elsewhere uh, because I feel very strongly about it. But I'm just not a fan of having to do like, I'm not a fan of that mechanic where you are one person playing this game, but it's like you're doing a co-op with yourself. I'm, I've never been a fan of that. It's just not, it's my least favorite mechanic in a game. That and stealth. <laughs> Is stealth a mechanic in a game? I hate stealth games. And I hate stealth. I like to go in guns a blazing. Can't believe you hate Wind Waker. That's a little different. That's more of an escort mission thing. And also, how dare you? I love Wind Waker. Damn, I thought we were gonna level up there. Oh well. Luigi really turned me off, yeah. Although, now I'm sad because I have no more Luigi's Mansion to play. I'm sorry. Where's my Mrs. Mouse who will give me a smooch? Is that aiming higher than Grassless? That is a fantastic. 
place to aim. I love that for you. I get having if, it, if it's a co-op game, but they want you to have the option to play it single player, but making it single but feel like co-op is meh, meh. That's how I feel. I don't like that at all. Ah, that's it. That's my ring. You found it. Frankie, now we can go home to daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. Listen, I don't know if he's listening or not, but Zach, you gotta up your nickname game up. <laughs> These guys got it down. <laughs> I mostly played the multiplayer of Luigi's Mansion 3. I like Luigi, but I understand the hate. I feared he'd be an annoying mechanic, but I didn't hate him. There's some fun tricks you can use with him. I mostly found him annoying. There were a few things that I appreciated, uh, but yeah, it, it just wasn't for me. But, I mean, I'm glad people liked it. I, for me, it, like, I don't really care so long as it means that maybe we get another Luigi's Mansion. That's all I care about. I just want more Luigi's Mansion. I fucking love that game. I would also really like an HD of the original Luigi's Mansion. I'm not sure why we didn't get that. I appreciate that we got Dark Moon because it's 3DS. But I would really love a, a, a remaster of the uh, original. I did 100% 3 though, but I've never done a second run once I beat it once, only played the multiplayer. Fair. But Liz, the pet names come with the uh, having to say I love you 100 times before doing anything? Damn. Well, never mind. Where does Coop go when he sleep? He goes under the bed. He sleeps under the bed. And he kicks his little feet because he's having dreams. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Let's go, buddy. Oof. I may not like how it looks, but I earned that gold vacuum and I will definitely wear it to show that to strangers online. Valid. <laughs> Listen, if you can't flex on a, you know, 12 year old on Nintendo Online, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? <sighs> ah! I just dropped my controller. Give me one sec, y'all. Okay. Koopa goes to hell, derogatory, Ms. Mouse goes to hell, complimentary. Oh my god. Oh, I shouldn't read chat while I'm walking. That's dangerous. Oh well. Sorry, Jedi, I took French. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Just found out my friend is being pictured uh, featured on GDQ. Ooh, very cool. Enjoy your lurk. And now that I have the three medals on Luigi's Mansion 2, and, and now I also have the three medals on Luigi's Mansion 2 to flex on more 12-year-olds. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Listen, I played Call of Duty. I like uh, fucking uh, flexing on 12 year olds. It's fun. <laughs> you gotta show them that they suck. <laughs> Get in line, pass the line, bitch. Uh, we're going straight to hell. Hell yeah. Okay. Wake up, open your eyes. I'm tired of saying daddy. Boss. Oh my god, he's fucking dead. Francesca? Boss! Oh, my little Francesca, you came back from me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did! As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. 
Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape to old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Whoa, boss! Why is he upright on the bed and not flat against it? Um, because he's just, you know, because he's the boss. Did you read all of the I love yous? Uh, I skimmed them. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean me? Boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate. The way I did. Boss! You, Mario. It looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful, I know it. What did you guys do? <laughs> well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought you your daughter. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Is that all? Yeah, I mean, worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. Oh, Dodd, you're so nice. You'll come back anytime you like. How, do, how about that? Okay, bye. Oh, sorry, Coops. I forgot to get you a ticket. Uh, you'll just have to stow away. Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Frankie, we've got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Oh, goddamn. Huh? F f Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Oh. Underboss. Uh, or I mean, boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah. You ever think about joining up with a syndicate? It's the life, kid. Okay, bye. How about that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She turned into Mafiosa real quick. She was like, oh, hell yeah, I got power now? Let's do this. Mario watches Frankie beat up a local grocery store owner? Uh-oh. Uh, hide your cat girls. <laughs> I gotta go ride a train. We did it. We can go to Poshley Heights now. Who's a we? Let's get, that, let's get that six crystal star as quick as we can. I heard that, my uglies. So the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. God damn it. I'm an Italian plumber from Brooklyn. Not the first time I've had mob connections. It's true. <laughs> Ever think about turning into a life of crime when you have absolutely no reason, uh, no need or reason to? I mean, Mario murders people like daily, so you know. Oh, build them. Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that trying to alone, trying that alone might be unwise. So you live, for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. Okay, bitch. Mario, there's no getting out of the mob once you're in. It's true. You gotta be careful. We got a deal, Mario. We have to get to Poshley Heights before Beldum does. Let's make for Rogueport Station. Come on. Okay. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Let's go. Hell yeah. I got... I'm 
another email? Oh my god, I'm so cool, you guys. I'm so popular. If it's anything like my regular email, it's a whole 5% off an item from an eBay seller. Are you Mario? Did this email? Did you get this email? Uh. Look, technology... Hi, Jess! This is so famous, I guess. Technology freaks me out, so if you're not Mario, could you destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you as thanks, so here it is. There's still lots of treasures in Creepy Steeple. Of course, knowing you, you probably found it all. Ugh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not-so-useless adventure, the Creepy Steeple Boo. Boo, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself, but thank you for the email. <laughs> It's been a while, so I don't remember if you were told about the transition translation change made to Vivian. Uh, you mean with the new game? Now we just need a Mario Galaxy level done as a long single take shot with Rolling Stones Plague. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. All I ever think about is how this train cuts through the wind as it races across plains, like a torpedo on Earth, slicing through the relentless winds. Doesn't it just fire you up inside? I don't have the money yet, but my dream is to one day ride this train. I think you're in love with this train. Peace. Hell yeah. Ooh, I don't mean to be judgmental, but how do you type with, without fingers? Jacob, you can't just ask people that. <laughs> That's not... If I was nervous about the fancy new technology, it was 20 years ago, cut me some slack. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're so right. You're so right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nice. <laughs> No ticket. Mm hmm. Chapter 6. Three days of excess. Hell yeah. Sounds like my long weekend. Alright. Imagine the Excess Express. This is pretty darn nice. The three days to Poshley Heights ought to go pretty quick, huh? Yes, I did know that. There's something weird on the floor. Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Ew. That's an odd threat. You don't think that Beldum put it there, do you? Well, the fact that it appeared now means the culprit's on the train. We have to get this weird threatener before they do anything sticky or yummy. Oh. <laughs> It's the worst way you could have done this. Okay. Oh, I like this lamp. I like how everything kind of moves a little bit with the train moving. That's so fun. Okay. Coops, please never speak again. Agreed. We're number five, y'all. Mambo number five. Hang on, I want to look around. We going here? Hello, I'm in your room. This is a very normal thing to do. You don't want to get sticky on the train, you know? I don't think I, I don't think I do. No. <laughs> what is a big boy? <laughs> Luke Vega versus the stream. Did someone remember who I am? Yes, me at all the time, at all times. Oh, that's a fella. Mm -hmm. I I know, I know. Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train, and now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. Okay. I'm so happy for you, big guy. You you look wonderful. You look marvelous. Listen, if I remember fucking Billy Crystal commercials from the 80s, I'm gonna remember Lubega. <laughs> I think I saw that toad outside of a Bob's Big Boy. First of all, that's an insult to Bob's Big Boy. Ooh. 
What's nearby? <gasps> Egg! Da -da 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 -da. Egg. Thank you for redeeming egg, Jedi. Egg. A little bit of egg on my head. Mm hmm. So, does she mean in this room? Hmm. Add a frog. Corinne has redeemed add a frog. Let me add that frog. Hold on. Frog. There you go. There is your frog. Thank you for redeeming. The frog. We love a frog in this house. Let me check the other room. Is it in here, Ms. Mouse? Uh huh. Yes. Nice. Okay. So we got egg, we got frog, we got all of our bases covered here. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for the confetti. I appreciate it. Okay, so it, it, it was in the other area. <gasps> Hello. That's no good. <laughs> I, you know, it is a toad, so you're probably right. Well, hello there, you ducky, debonair dish of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Well, people certainly have. Uh, people have certainly said I'm possessing, uh, possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, that was fun. Anything in here? Okay. Surprised Miss Mouse didn't just like claw her eyes out. Like, how dare you? There's a lot of toads here. I don't like the, ugh. Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this. But I'm the absurdly famous movie star, Zip Toad. I'm going to shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. Oh, and uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, fuck you! Welcome to the sassy toads. Debatable if they're better or worse than regular toads. It's hard to tell because they're also terrible. His mouths hit him with hammers. Mm hmm. You say we'll see. Save. Thank you. What's going on over here? Hello. Greetings. Welcome to the XS Express. I'm what is called the train engineer. Our opulent journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days. And how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of our locomotive delights all else. So let's all hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Shouldn't you be like fucking looking out? It's probably fine. There'll be a brief stop at Riverside Station for refueling, followed by the arrival at our final destination. Okay. <clears throat> Big red button. I don't want to hit. Can I touch the big red button? Can I do that? Hold on. Can I hit it? There are many small switches and levers here. Can I press the big button though? Okay, it won't let me press the big button. I'm also sad, but you know, it is what it is, y'all. Sometimes in life, you get the opportunity to, to hit a big red button. Um, sometimes you don't. Refund? Yeah, I, I need a refund on this game that I bought. This 20-year-old game that I bought five years ago. Thank you. <laughs> Stop sniffing my ass. Is there something in our car, maybe? But where? What? What the fuck? Where is it? Am 
I on all the drugs? Maybe it's not a ground pound thing? The dried shroom inside the drawer, is that it? I gotta wait until it goes away now. The shiny red candy like button. We can't press the button. I'm very sorry, y'all. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, I think it was just a mushroom. Alright, let's go this way. God, there's so many toads. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Good job, Toadette. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. And this is and this trip we have a super famous actor on board. Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. Okay. <gasps> Fish. Hello, I am Chef Shimi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your complaintance. <laughs> Uh, I mean acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap cheap is my first language, you know? You're doing great, buddy. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Oh my god. Can I eat it? I don't want to hurt his feeling. There's a store. Okay. Hi. I would like to store some things. Thank you. What else can I store? Okay. And then I want... What did I get? Wait, did you just give it to me? Oh. Okay, cool, thanks. Alright. I wish things on the train were marked up like they would be on a real luxury trip. <laughs> Why would you want that? Just for realism's sake? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Look at this penguin! What's up, buddy? I'm on my way back home. I've strayed so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. Well, sucks to suck, buddy. Detective novels, nice. How am I supposed to feel like I'm on a trip if I'm not paying 50 coins for a mushroom? You know, that is a fair point. Oh, look at this guy. What's up, buddy? Me? I have a very important deal to attend uh, to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes. Uh, this is Norman. That's who that is. That's Norman. Norman's on the Poshley uh, Excess Express. Just FYI, y'all. If you don't know who Norman is, you're better for it. What you got, Norman? Nothing in here. Well, time for a big grunty sigh. Me when I travel for work and go to a nice Central American restaurant. Nice. I don't know if you know who Norman is. Yeah, I'm Bub, and we got to get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Yeah, I'm so jealous. Oh, you're the champion of the Glitz Pits, are you not? Yes, the great Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for the little bub here. My, my, my. Okay. Thank you. Let's rob these guys. Thank you. I want to know. Um, it's a, a series of really weird fucking shorts from the 1970s. Uh, that Riff Tracks tends to uh, play when they do like live shows and shit. They're very weird. 
Hello to you, and welcome to the XS Express. I am the conductor of this train, and I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. Can I go back here? Well, rude. Okay. Well, then now what? Oh, hello. What's up, y'all? Hmm, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it. Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Will it? Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said. And, um, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Rolls off the fucking tongue there, Pingu. Nice work. Mm -hmm. Manga-ass title, right? Ooh. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman! <laughs> yeah, sure, okay, blame the only woman. Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Pardon me. Sorry, please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt the need to practice my accusation skills, you understand. Yeah, sorry. Ahem, very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and I guess that's about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hrf! You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up, you Tweety Geezer. <laughs> Liz is on the case. We need Detective Mothman Mothman up in this bitch. The Edgeworth game comes out Saturday. What Edgeworth game? Tweety Geezer Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well then, who did do it, hmm? <laughs> This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Ugh. So lame. This geezer's like totally way out of control. My magnificent shrew, I mean stew. <laughs> that stew is made of shrews. You, my whiskered friend, have you been hover have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect indeed. Shut the fuck up. People, I've apprehended the rogue. Yes, I've broken this case wide open. He has been skulking about this area the whole time under our very noses. The pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously banded is you. You are not the bandit, you say? Hmm, indeed you would say that. Well, if you are not in fact the crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence by searching for the real perpetrator. Then we will know it's not you. Fair? If you, you can't do it, just say that. If you suck, just say it. <laughs> Liz about to make Thanksgiving out of this bird? I'm just saying. I'll fight. I'll fight a bird. I don't care. Anyway, there's clearly drip marks on the floor, so we're gonna follow those. Oh, do I have to? Yeah, I, I got it. No, no, I, I got it. I, I got it here. Thank you. Oh. Oh, no blame the be glad. Be glad you didn't take the stew, did you? Whoa, 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 what do you want? Sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? A pot from the kitchen. Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen, you blame the chubby guy? Not nice. What? Drops a stew on the floor outside. No, I wouldn't know anything about that. People spill stuff. Roast him up next to Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> 
I keep trying to think of a clever soup pun, and all I can think of or have is murder on the Orient gazpacho. You know what? We'll workshop it. Detective, I don't think you should ask a potential suspect to find the stew. I think it's a foolproof plan. We've uh, investigated ourselves and we've cleared ourselves of all wrongdoing. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. There are several gourmet food magazines here, and one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There's something under the magazines. Oh, big boy, no. I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me. Stew for the money. Stop it. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid. Why didn't my brain even say gazpacho express? Because it, it, knew, it knew better. It's okay. I think he deserves to have all the stew. Look at him. This is the only toad I've ever met that I like outside of Captain Toad. Justice has been served. Very so What justice? Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. Bitch! My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call her the ruffian. Bitch! Now about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. I do wish he wasn't shirtless. I don't know, I think it kind of works. And please return the pot to the chef if you would. You deserve that stew, don't even worry about it, buddy. No, man, that soup was scrum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. I'm so glad. It's got a good old farm boy vibe. Mm. He's just a little dude. He's just a little guy. Little big guy. Alright, let me get this pot back. Return the slab. So you found the beef. Oh wait, I mean the thief. I am joyful. There you go. You're the hero of my world. You've even brought my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you from me. Here's just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please take it. It's starting to make me uncomfortable to point out the words he's getting wrong, so I'm just going to stop doing it. <laughs> it feels not great. Okay. He appreciates good food. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't? Room six is where we needed to go. There's no... Okay, so this is definitely not the way. Where the hell is room six? Well, it's got to be this way, but... There's ours. Okay, so this must be past the dining room. There we go. Room six. Aha, uh -huh, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended are, is our sticky, yummy malcontent. That is the worst phrase I've ever read. I have deduced from uh, this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided, then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I am a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I'm sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on this subject. Nope! And as for you, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose, all too e Yeah, it's I, Red Luigi. <laughs> okay. 
You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? You bitch! No need to introduce yourself. I know all about this famous Luigi. Now about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. <laughs> As It's got big, like, somebody calling you by your sibling's name vibes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the family of bob -Oms, they are definitely suspect. I can't believe RuPaul is on the train. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts, facts and deduce the truth. Okay. Take heed now, Luigi. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. Okay, so we need to go talk to the bob -Oms. Is the only other person beside us to read Luigi's book? Ooh. Oh, it's green up in here. I think this is Norman's room. Yeah. Why is it green? It's green at night? I think we should let little bu uh, let little Bub the advanced we should get little Bub the advanced learner's classic series of Bobomery. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him. Honestly. I don't want any of the stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you that detective now that you become are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so you think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay. Edgar Allan Poe's The Murders of the Stew Morgue. Oh my god. I have to find something he wants? Alright. Bring him a copy of Minecraft? That's what kids like, right? They like Minecraft. Well, what I'm actually gonna bring him right now is fucking nothing. Nothing. He needs to brace himself for disappointment after his family gets got for tax evasion. In 2004, Minecraft isn't out yet. I got the Minecraft trailer. I haven't even watched it. I heard it was terrible. Uh, but we're actually gonna end the the game here tonight. <laughs> yeah, I I just think they need to stop making video game movies. To be honest, they don't seem to be going well, <laughs> like at all. So maybe just stop. Maybe just not do that. You know, just don't do it. I think that's the best way to go. Bye forever. No boo. <laughs> I changed my mind that certain actor isn't cool anymore. Yeah, well. What every child, a small child wants. Boot to the head. And one for Pennington and the Toads? Okay, fair. <laughs> I'll get, I'll, uh, what if I get him some ice cream? Thank you for stream. Hope you have a good rest of your night and a lovely sleep. Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for the clips. Uh, and for the resubs, what flavor? Boot to the head. Um, we're gonna send our love somewhere. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna go bug vampy. That's what we're gonna do. Excuse me, sir. The show's over. But I have nowhere to go. That works so well with like the standard <laughs> CRT size screen that you get with a uh, thousand year door. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for the hamster. <laughs> well, I'm going to send you over to Vampy. Just a fair warning. Uh, very different vibes um, with, with what uh, Vampy is playing right now. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, uh, Vampy is playing some Dead by Daylight. She's doing some solo Survivor queue, it looks like. And then maybe some Love Ghosty, which is a very cute little dating game where you're a little ghost and you're trying to pair up the people who are staying in, in the home that you haunt. Um, so 
definitely uh, check out Vampy. Uh, we, we love Vampy in this house. You can use the raid messages if you'd like. Um, or um, you're welcome to just drop some Mothman in the chat, whatever you'd like. Um, but follow us to the raid if you're interested. That's no good. <laughs> Thank you, Boo. Thank you for this stream. Thank you for being here, Alex. I appreciate you. Um, I am going to try and be back on Saturday. So uh, keep an eye out for that. We'll be doing more of this. I really want to finish this game, so we're going to be focusing pretty heavily on this right now. So. Me haunting a house, be gay, be gay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alex jump scare, nice. <laughs> All right, good night, y'all. We'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. No, you're the blessing.